Welcome to another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. Can you dig it? Today, I'm going to teach you how to do the, the proper way of doing an oil change. Also, how important it is to select the right oil filter. We have a 2009 Chrysler PT Cruiser. We're about to do an oil change on it. So let's get to it and pay very close attention to the video because this information is very crucial if you want to extend the life of your engine let's get to it all right here we go we got the car jacked up good idea is to have the car jacked up high enough on one side so when you drain the oil all the oil will drain out towards the side of the drain plug so what we're going to do here is remove the drain plug Now this car is easy because this one has the oil filter right next to the drain plug so at the same time I can take out the filter. I'm going to teach you some very important information about oil filters. So as it's draining out, let me go get a tool to take off that oil filter. Alright, got a little oil filter wrench right here. This is, thing is great. Okay, we're back with the new oil filter. Now we have an STP S3614XL compared to the standard STP 3614. Let me show you, let me tell you the difference. This is very important when you're doing an oil change. Um, when you shut your car off, all the oil that's going out through the engine drains back into the oil pan. So every time you start your car after 30 minutes it's called a dry start which means metal is up against metal until the oil pump pumps that oil back through the engine a lot of good oil filters has what you call uh, anti backup valve so when the oil pump pumps oil through the engine and you shut the car off the oil filter has a valve that will not let that oil drain back down into the oil pan. So every time you start the car after it sets overnight or an hour or so, it's the oil is already up through the engine and you save your engine. So in the long run, you're putting miles on you putting extra miles on your engine. Alright? So now STP just did you know STP just figured this out, which <laughs> which is kind of dumb because uh, Fram has it, Wix has it, Bosch has it. A lot of these oil filters um, has it. Good name brands. So when you think you're getting a, a good deal with these cheap oil filters, you're not. You're killing your engine. It's same STP, but notice now it's black. Yeah, they put a little thing right here trying to make it look good. Oh. Okay, let's remove this plastic cover on it now that ring right there you want to make sure you put a thin layer of oil on that ring because if you put it on dry there's a good chance it'll crank up or come off so just dip your finger right here very small go around 
and then let's put this off of the back on there now oil filter is tightened you put it on till it stops and then turn it one quarter of a turn but uh you know me I like to be on the safe side because I've heard stories where oil filters come right off the car when the customer is driving and the shops don't even want to uh, don't want to take care of that so I use my same tool and I tighten it up not super tight like the one that came off Good enough right there oil is drained out again you want to make if the oil like the oil drain is over here so I want to jack up the right side of the car to let all the oil in the pan come down and drain down because if you jack it up other way you're going to get oil still in the oil pan old oil and you don't want that all right now let's tighten this back up Move, we can move the pan out the way. Let's tighten this back up. Now this is an aluminum oil pan. You can strip it out. So you just, you know, don't go crazy with the tightening up or you will strip that bolt out and it will it cause a serious problem okay so you just want to bring it till it stops and then a little bit more done all right we go that double gonna get a rag and wipe that up get some new gloves on and uh then i'm gonna teach you about the oil all right right back I can still talk though. Go ahead. <laughs> uh, there's funny people don't want to be on camera. I mean, I heard it not being on camera, but they don't even want to be heard on camera. Nope. <laughs> All right, so we're going to put in Mobile Super. Good, very good oil. 10W30. This car is going to take about four and a half quarts. Okay, what we did, we put about four and a half quarts in there. We're gonna close it up, start it up, check the oil, then top it off. Make sure the car is jacked back down so it can be on level ground or you'll get the wrong readings. Yeah. It's, it's just funny, and Ed O'Neill is the head of the household, really. Okay. And, uh, you know, remember from, um, married with you. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. But um, can you start the record again? Little do they realize, no, the camera's been going. So. No, it hasn't. <laughs> yes, it has. <laughs> okay. Well, please don't. We're gonna check the. We're gonna check the oil. No, I am not editing nothing. Yes, please. <laughs> All right, I'm going to check the oil. <laughs> okay, we need a little bit more. So it's probably going to take the whole five quarts. Let's put that rest of it in there.
Okay, check it again. Right at the full mark. Come on, we'll keep talking. You're already up there, so you know you sing. <laughs> but now you don't say nothing, huh? I'm not editing nothing out. My YouTube channel. <laughs> don't make me turn the camera around. I should turn it around. Don't make me jump over this All right, there you go. That's the proper way of doing an oil change. 2009 Chrysler PT Cruiser. Uh, then we're going to put some oil change stick in there to let the customer know when the next oil change is going to be done. And, uh, that's it. It's another episode of Astro Auto Repairs. If we can't repair it, nobody can. Take care.